Hey there, good looking. Stick around for my favorite glute stretches. These are awesome to do after a workout or if you're just a little sore from your workout the day before. And if you're part of the 14 day booty love challenge, this is day nine, baby cakes. Well done. And if you're not a part of the challenge, hey, all you have to do is click subscribe and click the notification bell. And that way I can let you know next time I run a free challenge for the YouTube community. Deal? Awesome. Now for today's series, all you need is a chair and a mat. So let's go get busy. Hello there. Hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s. Well, the tush and more muscles. Hey, listen, I've been a personal trainer for 25 years. I'm 50 years old myself and that's why I started this channel. So it's so awesome you stop by. I hope you subscribe. I would love to keep working with you. Now we're going to get ourselves warmed up just a little bit and then we'll start seated in the chair for some stretches and move down onto the mat. Deal? Awesome. Let's get set up into all fours. If you have sensitive knees, maybe double up your mat so that they can go underneath the knees. Wrists under shoulders. On the inhale, allow the low back to sag and the head looks up. Exhale, push the ground away and tuck the chin in. Nice. Inhale. Exhale. Take it slow and controlled, feeling every vertebrae in your spine on both the inhale and the exhale, trying to eke out as much stretch as you can. One more. And neutral spine. Open up the knees, big toes together. Walk the hands forward, sit back onto your heels and then drive forward. Let the hips drop and look over your left shoulder and sit back on your heels. Drive forward, look over the other shoulder. When you look over the shoulder, really try to look at for the opposite heel. So it's just not a subtle neck, neck turn. You're really twisting the shoulders, trying to look right around. Flowing through this for about a minute, warming into the spine, shoulders, glutes, neck. This is a nice little mobility drill too. Let those hips drop, get a little spinal extension, round and push it back. One more each side. Last one and release. All right, coming into a chair. You could also do this seated on the couch. So this exercise would really appeal to my husband. <laughs> you don't have to move, honey. You can stay on the couch. <laughs> All right, sitting nice and tall. Let's start with the right leg. Cross the ankle over. Grab onto the shin. Now, dependent on the lay of your leg is going to tell you on the tightness of a deep glute muscle called your piriformis, which is a hip rotator, and it can cause a lot of grief in the body. So if your knee is really jacked up, you have a tight ass in the wrong way. So do your best here. Sit up nice and tall and then use the front of the shins as leverage to pull yourself forward until you feel that stretch deep in the hip in the piriformis. There you go. Just breathe into that. Now with any stretch, you want to feel the edge, okay? And then as you hold the stretch, that edge will subside and by all means take it a bit deeper. But you don't want to get to a point where you feel the muscle vibrating, you're really struggling, you're sweating, all right? The muscle is going to think that you're going to injure it and it's going to do what it should do and that's protect itself. So it will actually contract. So we need to find that edge and then just hold it there. Trying to push through the edge in a stretch is actually idiotic and will not help your flexibility and mobility whatsoever. Two more breaths. Yeah, I'd tell it the way it is here on the Fitness with BJ channel. And 
and release. Let's try the other side and then be aware, right? Each side of the body is gonna feel very differently. So take a look at the lay of your hip. This hip is tighter on me and this knee is sitting higher so I know that this piriformis needs some more work. And this is one of the things I'll do. <laughs> Sit up nice and tall and lean forward. Good, feel that stretch deep in the hip. And you want a fairly neutral spine on these stretches too. So if you take a look, my spine is neutral. So if you're finding you're really rounding to get yourself forward, you're moving too much into the thoracic spine, not where I need you, which is your hip joint. So think neutral spine. That other leg, that ankle's underneath the knee. Take a look, see if you can Lean forward a bit more, couple more breaths. And release. Feet flat on the ground, legs are open. Just let yourself drop right down, okay? Now, if you're unable to get the hands to the ground, I want you to quickly grab a pillow or something to build your ground up. And now just let the head drop and hold. Stretching into your glutes, but we're also allowing that low back to release. You might feel something in your inner thighs as well. Maybe give the head a shake, just to make sure there's no tension in the neck. Two more breaths. Now don't use your back to get yourself upright. Instead, let's place the hands on the tops of the thighs and now use the arms to roll ourselves up vertebrae by vertebrae. Turning to the side, take one leg behind, grab onto the back of the chair if you need to for support. We want that back knee and hip aligned. Squeeze the bum forward, inhale that arm up, exhale, lean away. So no, this is not stretching your glute but I would be a horrible trainer if I ignored the fact that we need to also release the muscles opposing to the glutes, which for us, it's the psoas group, the hip flexor. So this is a really nice stretch to do, seated. Get a length in that back hip. Release, let's do the other side. So our setup is back, um, hip, and knee are aligned. So I don't have that knee extended behind me. Then from there, I'm gonna tighten that glute, inhale the arm straight up and lean away. This is also a nice way to stretch into the psoas group without kneeling. So the most common way we do this stretch, you keep holding while I show you, is this, right, on the back knee. But if you've had a knee replacement or if you have bad arthritis in the knee, that's gonna be a challenge for you. So here's a good workaround or if you just don't want to get down on the ground. Here you go. And release. Let's move the chair out of the way. Once you do, get yourself set up into downward dog. Press the hips up, spread the fingers, grip your ground with your fingertips to take the pressure off of the wrists. Feet are hip width apart, hips press up, heels press down, and then the back of the knees press away. Let that head just hang there in between the biceps. Moving into pigeon. If pigeon bothers you, you'll go on your back for figure four, which is essentially what we just did seated, but you're on your back. Now float into a high plank, right knee, right wrist, right ankle, left wrist. Walk yourself back. Come down onto the forearms. Try to keep this right hip off your ground. If you have a pillow close by, grab it, place it under that hip. Now, if this feels okay for you, maybe drop yourself down, forehead to the ground, or you can stack your fists and then place your forehead on the fists. That's the way I like. 
Press that left hip into your ground, lengthening that left side of the body while we get deep into the glute on this right hip. Again, if this is too much for you, on your back for figure four. Two more breaths. Press yourself up with your hands. Now we want to get out of this without twisting your back knee. So I want you to tuck your back toe under and then lift the leg up and into high plank. Left knee, left wrist, left ankle, right wrist. Walk your right leg behind you. Find that edge of your stretch. Come down on the forearms. Breathe here. Maybe make some adjustments. Hips are squared. Press that right hip into your ground. And then from there, if you'd like, stack the fists. Or if you're able to, forehead straight down to your ground. Two more breaths. Press yourself up with your hands. Tuck your back toe under. Lift yourself up into high plank and then big toes together. Knees are open and sit back on your heels. Forehead to the mat. If this bothers your knees, you can lie on your back and do child's pose. Now arms can be ahead of you down by your side or under your forehead. Come on up, seated. <clears throat> Let's take the legs cross-legged for me, and then take that right leg and step it over top of the other leg. Grab onto that knee, pulling it towards the opposite shoulder. Right hand comes behind the hip to help sit yourself up nice and tall, and then twist and look over that right shoulder. Feeling that stretch in that right glute. Nice and easy, let's release the right leg. Step the left over, pull it towards the opposite armpit. Left hand behind the hip to push yourselves up and then look over that left shoulder. And feel that stretch now on the left glute. Nice and easy, come back to center into fire log. So we'll stack the shins so they're directly on top of each other. Now, if this isn't gonna work for you and you're looking at me and laughing out loud, like forget it, PJ, I just want you to sit cross-legged. Remember which leg's in front and the next set we'll do the other leg, okay? Otherwise, see if you can get the shins stacked like fire logs, all right? And then lean forward as best you can and get into that hip on this side. And just breathe with it, right? Find that edge, find that breath, blow into that muscle. And release. Other leg on top or other leg in front for cross-legged pose. Nice and tall on the spine, lean forward. Feet are active and breathe.
Nice and easy, come on up. Lying on your back. Just release the hips, straighten the legs for me and just shake them out a little bit. Bend the knees, cross the right leg completely over as if you're wearing a skirt sitting cross-legged. Now pull the knees straight into the chest, hands come under and grab onto that left shin and hold. Feeling that stretch in your right glute. So this isn't a figure four, your legs completely crossed over. Now from here, let's make an adjustment. Lift the head up, slide the chin in, and then lower the head down so the back of the neck is longer than the front. See if we can release and relax in other muscles. We might be tensing without even knowing it. Muscles of the face, the neck, shoulders. Release, other side, cross right over, pull the knee center of the chest, hands come underneath and grabs onto the front of that right shin. And then make those adjustments, those subtle adjustments that just make it a little better. The relaxing of the other muscles, the length in the back of the neck. Slowly release, straighten the legs again, just release through the hips. Maybe give them a shake. Final stretch, knees to chest. And let's add some movement, rocking side to side. So thank you so much for joining me for my favorite glute stretches. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. That way I can let you know every time I drop a workout as well as when we run challenges. Like right now we're running one. So if you're part of the 14 day love booty challenge, you need to go check yourself into Patreon that you got this workout done. Rock yourself up to a seated position. And we did it. Hey. Give a read down in the description below. We could use your help at Patreon if you haven't already joined us. It is due to the amazing people there that we are able to keep these workouts going. So we would love for your support. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah. Whew. Feel good now. Have a good day.